quality. With Adobe Express, you can use the power of AI to instantly generate high quality, commercially safe images to use with your designs. The AI text to image generator in Adobe Express is powered by Firefly, which is an advanced generative AI feature that allows us to generate any image that we can imagine, even realistic people. To generate an image, simply describe the image that you want using a detailed prompt. Select a style, and watch as artificial intelligence generate several amazing images that you can select from. And with the ability to add reference and composition images, you can easily match any design style that you envision. So let's head over to Adobe Express and go over how to easily generate images with the AI Image Generator. To access Adobe Express and follow along, go ahead and click the link in the video description. So from the Adobe Express homepage, let's go ahead and open up a new project. You can use whatever template you wish, but for this example, I'm going to go with the YouTube thumbnail. This should open up a blank project with the dimensions of a YouTube thumbnail. But regardless of the template you're using, you can still access the AI Image Generator. So to generate an AI image, let's go to the menu on the left hand side here and click on the Media tab. This will open up a menu where you can view the media that you've previously uploaded, where you can upload new media, and where you can generate AI images. So to open up the AI Image Generator, let's click the Generate Image button here. You'll then see a pop-up menu where you can select the dimensions of the image that you want to generate. Since I'm using a widescreen 16x9 template, I think I'll select that for my AI image as well. Once you select your size, you should see the Generate Image menu open up on the left-hand side, and you should see an image preview appear on your template. Let's make my image preview a bit bigger and move it towards the center. And there we go. So now let's go over how to generate an AI image. The first thing we'll need to do is describe the image that we want using a detailed text prompt. So in our Generate Image menu here, let's go up to the text field at the top. Here's where you can provide all the details for the image that you want to generate. When describing your image, you want to be as detailed as possible, including colors, locations, objects, people, textures, and anything else you can think of. For my first example, let's have the AI generate an image of a red motorcycle speeding through a futuristic city at night. I think that should look pretty cool. And underneath your description, you can actually add reference images if you like. And this is a great way to match a certain style or composition that you're looking for, but we'll be going over this a bit later. Next, we have a drop down menu where we can select our content type. The options are photo, graphic, art, or auto select. We'll be checking out each of these, but for the first example, I think I'll go with photo. Once you select your content type, you can then go down and select from various styles that you can add to your image. And there are several categories and dozens of styles to choose from, which allows for some really cool customization options. I think I'll select the digital art style. But keep in mind, if there are multiple styles that you like, feel free to select more than one. But I'm going to keep things simple and just go with digital art. So now that I've described my image, selected a content type, and added my style, let's go down to the bottom and click the Generate button. Artificial intelligence will then start analyzing the information, and after a few moments, it'll provide us with several high-quality AI-generated images that we can select from. So here's my red motorcycle speeding through a futuristic city at night. Wow, I think these look amazing. When you generate an image, it'll actually provide you with four options. But if you don't see the image that you're looking for, you could easily go down to the bottom here and click the Generate More tab. The AI will then reanalyze your description and provide you with four new options. All of the previous images you generated will remain in the menu here, so feel free to compare the various options and select the one you like best. So for my red motorcycle speeding through a futuristic city, I think this image here is my favorite. So now that I've generated my AI image, I can now use it for my YouTube thumbnail, use it to create a social media post, add it to my website, or whatever else I like. So for our next example, let's go over how to use a style reference image. When using a style reference image, the image you generate should have a similar look and feel as the reference image you uploaded. So to generate an AI image using a reference image, let's go back to the Media tab from the menu on the left hand side. To access the AI Image Generator, let's click the Generate Image button at the top here. And for my image size, let's go with the 16x9 widescreen. We should then be taken to the Generate Image menu. Let's make my image preview a bit bigger on my template here. There we go. So first, let's use the text box up top to describe my image. For this example, let's generate an AI image of a happy bear holding a blank sign. And underneath your description, you'll see the section where you can add reference images. For this example, 
Let's click the first icon here to add a style reference image. You can then find and open up the image that you want the AI to reference. You can then confirm you have the rights to use the image and your image should be uploaded to the menu. For the image I'm generating, I wanted to have a kind of 3D animated look, so I'll be using this style reference image here. So if we go down to the next section, we can select our content type. We selected photo last time for a more realistic look, but this time, I want my image to look more animated, so let's select graphic. If you like, you can also select additional styles to implement, and once you're finished, go ahead and click the generate button at the bottom. The AI will then analyze my description and my reference image, and after a few moments, I should have several AI images to choose from. Wow, I think these actually turned out great. I have several versions of my bear holding a sign, and they're definitely in an animated 3D style. So feel free to select the version that you like the best, and it'll be added to your template. So here's my bear compared to my reference image. They're both animated 3D characters, but remember my bear has some other style effects added too. But even with the added style effects, he still looks like he could be standing in the background forest of my reference image. And of course, once you add your AI generated image to your template, you can then rearrange it, add other graphics, add text, or anything else you like. So we've gone over how to use a style reference image. Now let's go over how to generate an AI image using a composition reference image. With a composition reference, the AI will analyze your image and try to arrange the objects in the generated image in a similar way. So let's head back to the AI image generator by going to the media tab, then click the generate image button. I can then select my image size, and we're back at the AI image generator. So in the text field up top, let's describe the image that I want to generate. So for my composition image example, I want to generate an AI image of a pile of gold and silver coins in front of a treasure chest on a beach. And underneath my description, I can add my composition reference image. So to add my composition image, let's click the plus sign icon here. I can then find and open up the image that I want to use. For my composition image, I'll be using this photo of an arrangement of stones. And hopefully AI will use this image and arrange my gold and silver coins in a similar way. Under content type, I don't think we've tried art yet, so let's select that one. Feel free to add other style options if you like. And once you're finished, go ahead and click the generate button at the bottom. And the AI should then start generating my gold and silver coin images. <laughs> Not bad. Remember we selected art for the content type, so these look more like artwork. So let's compare these to my composition image. So based on the composition of my rocks here, we should have a prominent stack of coins in the front with a more blurred and spread out pile of coins in the back. Some of these match the composition better than others, but I think this one at the end here looks pretty close. I have my stack of gold coins in front of my treasure chest and other coins out of focus and spread out in the back, similar to the rocks in my composition image. The details in the image are super high quality as well. And this is something that I would probably frame and hang on my wall. So for our last example, let's see how the AI generator does when generating realistic people. Until now, it's always been a struggle for AI to generate people, especially things like fingers, hands, and arms. But with the power of Adobe Firefly, we should be able to generate realistic people that look like an actual photo. So let's head back over to the generate image menu, and in the description, I'm going to type in woman sitting in coffee shop working on her laptop. I'm not going to upload a reference image for this example, and for the content type, we haven't tried auto yet, so let's leave it on that. I think I'll skip the styles as well. So let's go down to the bottom and click the generate button. And once the AI analyzes my details, it should generate my images. Wow, these look even more realistic than I was expecting. <laughs> to be honest, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between these and real photos. My AI person looks super realistic, and even the background looks like it's real life. And of course, once you generate your AI images, you can then use your AI image to create social media posts, website banners, YouTube thumbnails, or whatever else you like. So that's a quick overview of how to use the AI image generator on Adobe Express. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.